1059 Kiss FM, Big Papa Band in the morning with Liz and on the Lennon's Jewelers Hotline. What is going to be the biggest movie in the world this weekend? Hunger Games, Mocking Jay, Part 2. Eugenie Bondurant is on the Lennon's Jewelers Hotline. Eugenie, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. I am doing great. I'm doing great. I'm doing fabulous. This, it's gotta <laughs> be. It's gotta be so freaking cool and exciting. This to, to have this movie just about to explode all over the place this weekend. I know. And wait till you see it. Uh, I can't give any secrets away, but boy, you're gonna love it. Listen, don't you don't you dare, Eugenie, because I'm not the guy that um, that reads the books. I just watch the movies, so I have no oh. idea. <laughs> like, I don't even know who the hell Tigress is yet. But I, but I know that Tigress is going to be awesome. So I have no idea what's going on. So don't you, all I know is the, the only reason I know there's, the, there's a Tigress is because I'm talking to you right now. That's all I got. Oh, there you go. <laughs> well, you know what to say, Tigress rock. Okay? There we I go. That's what i tell you. Well, obviously. Mm-hmm. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She looks fierce. I'll t- um, doing the research now, now, Eugenie, what we do before we do any interview is it's like we go, it's like we prep for a first date. Okay. Oh, great. Okay. Yeah. First so great. yeah. So so we we Google and cyber stalk you, and and okay. whatnot. So uh, the the makeup and the costuming, uh, just for your character alone, are just incredible on this. Oh, you know, V Neil, Glenn Hetrick, what visionaries! They, oh my gosh, they are incredible. Yeah, they're the ones who came up with the makeup and the look, along with. Nicoletta, they were all, all three of them came up with the look for my character. And have you seen photos of the character or no? Oh, yeah, yes. that's, that, that, was yes. part, that was part of the cyber stalking before this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Incredible, right? <laughs> yeah, that's me. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 opens this weekend, and we're talking to Eugenie Bondurant on the Lennon Jewelers Talent, who plays Tigers. You can follow her on Twitter at Huge Bondurant on uh, on Twitter as well. Um, talk to me. Talk to me about um, obviously the you know the production and whatnot happened a while ago, but talk to me about the whirlwind that is just like what you're doing now. The the media uh, exposure, doing all of the premieres and this that, and the other. What's been your highlight of just like the media and the press? and the premieres thus far? Oh, my gosh. I've met so many incredible people. It's been so much fun. Do you know that um, I, 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 my, Twitter, my Twitter feed has exploded with fans from all over the world? That has really been the number one incredible thing. I mean, I'm speaking to people in Uruguay and Peru and Spain and uh, Brazil and Portugal and Argentina. I mean, it is, it's incredible. And these are fans and they tweet to me and I write back to them. They're, they're terrific. Really, really terrific. We're talking to Eugenie Bondurant on the Lennon's Jewelers Hotline. She plays Tigress, Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part 2, opening this weekend. And uh, if you want to be one of the b- brand new hundreds and thousands of new Twitter followers, you can follow her at, on Twitter at Huge Bondurant, at Huge, E-U-G Bondurant, and you can uh, you can follow her there. Um, as far as the, the travel and the, and the premieres and whatnot, obviously it takes, how long did it take to get into the, uh, uh, the, the production? How long did it take to do the makeup and, and all that stuff? And people who haven't seen and will see will understand uh, why I'm asking this question. But how long, how long did the process take to get you ready to go in front of the camera? Oh, heavens to Betsy. It took, they would pick me up at 4 a.m. for my hotel. And I would sit down in that chair for six hours. Wow! Uh, oh, yes. Six hours? Oh, come on. Yes. What do you do hours. for six hours? Yeah, seriously. What do you I do know, to pass I the know, time right? for six hours <laughs> in, in makeup getting ready for this? Yeah. Well, what the routine was, I'd sit down and they'd do, you know, they'd fuss with my hair and they'd try to do a few little things. And they were waking up, too, of course. But uh, <laughs> so, so the first hour, the, the first hour was yeah. just kind of a gimme. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, hello, are we here? Really? Um, and then um, for the first hour to two hours, I was, prob- you know, you, I had my eyes closed and I probably, I, I'm sure I snored in that chair. I, I really do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good. That's fantastic. 
fantastic. But um, after that, they, you know, you go from, I'd go from the makeup hair to the, to the, um, from the makeup chair to the hair chair, hair chair to the makeup chair. But six hours in, about after hour three or four, they would say, well, if you're hungry, this is the time to eat. Because after that, I wasn't able to eat. I, I would yeah. have shakes through a straw. Yeah, I had to sift through a straw and stuff because, because a lot of it had to do with your face and you couldn't move yeah. like your cheeks and all that stuff, right? Yes, I couldn't move my cheeks, my eyes. I cat eye uh, contacts in. It's really cool. <laughs> yeah, it was very cool. That is, that's fantastic. Eugenie Bondurant on the Lennon's Jewelers Hotline, Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. Can I tell you that the one of the things that uh, that we do here is for a big movie like this that lots of people are excited for, we actually have our own theater on opening night. So 7 o'clock on Thursday night, we're actually going to have a theater full of our listeners and people are listening to call in to win their way in. That's what we're doing like the last two weeks. We've been getting ready for the premiere of your movie. That's That's got to be cool. Mm, that is very cool. Oh, you're going to have, your fans are going to have a blast. Uh, I mean, it won't be, they won't be going, ooh, they're going to be crying and it's, it's, it's an incredible movie. Don't you dare ruin it. No spoilers. Don't, 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 <laughs> no just, spoilers. Just the fact that I know I'm going to cry, I'm, I'm mad at you right now. That's <laughs> You're going to love it. Gonna oh, love I'm it. excited. You know, it's, you know what's funny? I, and I want to ask you this, um, you, you know, with me being like, don't you spoil it, da-da-da-da-da. Was there, um, but the fact is, it was a series of books. Was there security measures taken as far as the script and confidentiality agreements because of how big of a blockbuster this is going to be? Oh my goodness! Yes. Talk to me. Talk to me about what what, what everyone had to do with that. It took. Well, first of all, when I booked this, uh, they said, "Okay, so you booked this, now, and you booked this. You can't tell anybody until we tell you. You can tell someone." And I thought, "What? Oh, what?" <laughs> and the second thing is, when I first auditioned, the name of the script was different. I mean, fact, they didn't even send me a script. The 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 sides, which are the pages from which you audition, had a different name on it. It didn't have Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part Two. Uh, I forgot what it was named, but anyway. So you yeah, thought? I so you thought you were? No. You thought uh, you were auditioning for a different movie. You thought you were auditioning for a different oh, yeah. project altogether. Oh wow! Oh yeah! Wow! Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> and then, cool though. So I booked this role, and literally, I booked it in September, and my, my role was not announced until May, the following May. Oh. So I had to keep quiet that entire time. And if you and if you didn't, you could have you would have lost the role. Yes, that's right. That's right. That's and I wouldn't have done it anyway. I mean, there's such a fantastic crew and cast. You know, you really, you're part of the team. When you sign on, you're part of that team. And they embraced you. You know, everyone was really, worked very, very hard and um, really embraced. Everyone became part of the team. It was fun, fun, fun. Speaking of uh, speaking of the team, and, and you've given props to a lot of the behind-the-scenes people, I got to ask about Jennifer Lawrence. She seems just like, on, she seems just like a really down-to-earth, Cool woman, and 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 uh, that's the, it's, is that is that fair to say? Because that that seems how she comes across. Absolutely, she's cool. In fact, she was the first person who first cast member who sat down and said hi to me and introduced them to her. So she introduced herself to me. Incredibly gracious, incredibly fun. There was always a sense of play on the set, even in the most difficult scenes. Yeah, when the cameras weren't rolling, she was playing a game with the other cast members or um, having a really good time. So That's very she cool. is the person that you see and that you think she is. She is. She really, really is. We're so. talking to Eugenie Bondurant on the Lennon Jewelers Hotline. She plays Tigress in the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2 opening this weekend. Eugenie, I know you have a ton of other uh, interviews to do as we get ready for the big premiere. We definitely appreciate the time. Congratulations on this role <laughs> that, that you thought was something else and it turned into the, you know, the movie, thing ever. Yeah, the movie's going to take over the world this weekend. So congratulations <laughs> on this and continued success, okay? Thank you very, very much. I truly appreciate being on your show. Absolutely. We've got to do this again. Eugenie Bondurant, everybody. We're going to break, come back. It's Big Papa and Banna in the morning on KISS FM.